<clears throat> What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back and guys I got another great video But before I get into it guys the support has been unreal Yesterday's video with a thousand views before the roster update three I posted a, a video three hours before the roster update and it hit a thousand views before the roster update drop So thank you guys for the support. I Gained 30 new subscribers yesterday Thanks to all that subscribed and guys we got another fire video for you on stub making method and guys I got another video after this today on How to defeat the second inning program. It's so simple. I'm about to beat it It's so easy and you get some packs and free stuff. So that's lit too. And also guys Drop 10k in the comments for a chance to win 10k Like the video and subscribe to your boy if you're new I'll be doing a giveaway if we if the video hits 35 likes I will be giving away a free 10k to a random comment and guys I've done it before I'm not no fraud I've done it before so guys Please just hit the subscribe button and guys let's get into the video and guys okay so Right now I'm at 100k stubs I don't have the best team but oh we got a pack for you quick I got a 100k team 100k We got a silver okay I got a 100k and I want to buy my team and why am I gonna buy my team now because the auction is low like I said the market has crashed okay so if the market crashes what happens if the market crashes you buy your team now and you make stubs later so how do you make stubs later the prices are keep going they keep going up as you can see everyone's price going up so let me tell you right now so ready right now what I would do to make stubs if you want to buy some players, I would pick up Okuna and Bellinger, okay? Why? Because they did not go diamond, their price is down. Throughout the week, on the next roster update, I'm pretty sure it's next week on Friday, or the week after on Friday, you guys want to want to pick up as many Bellingers and Okunas right now, because they're going to be diamonds, 100%. They're unbelievable players. They're going off right now in the real life. So, guys, pick up as many Okunas and Bellingers. I only have one. I need to get Bellinger, actually. But yes, their price gap is pretty big. You won't make, you won't lose that many stubs anyways. See, like, look, you won't even lose stubs. So, guys, so what, I'm gonna tell you what players to pick up on what to, how to make stubs. So right now, who I would pick up? Okay, ready? I would pick up Corey Seager. Yesterday, I got a bunch. I got three Corey Seagers for what? Around 1,700 stubs. He was so cheap. So you want to pick up a couple of his let's go buy out right now I'm gonna buy them out for 21 six like that's unbelievable price I'm gonna buy a bunch of these I'm gonna make stubs either whenever I can make stubs now or I could wait until the roster update maybe becomes a diamond But yeah, you would buy want to buy a bunch of Trevor Bowers the fact that they dissed this guy that he he should have been through a diamond bro He's pitching gems out of nowhere Trevor story might go to a diamond but guys all these golds are so cheap like Trevor Bauer is so cheap. I'm gonna pick up as many Bowers as I can because I know he's gonna be a diamond soon Like I'm gonna make a mad subs if he goes up to a diamond. I'll make like 4k a pop minimum But let's keep going on what gold you should buy dude Rizzo's 1300 coins like 1300 stubs Go pick up Rizzo if he becomes a diamond this year. You're valid, bro Let's keep going Matt Chapman probably gonna be a diamond this year as well 3100 stubs not a lot of stubs, bro I'm telling you, all these gold cards are the best. Like, everyone's so cheap right now. Everyone keeps going up in price. Either way, if you don't want to wait till next week, you're still going to make stubs. <clears throat> a couple of other cards, bro. Barreos, okay, Whit Merrifield's a perfect example. He was like 3,500 coins. <clears throat> now we're sitting at 1,700. Everyone go pick him up. His price, keeps, his price keeps going up. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that this is so worth it, guys. They're so cheap for golds. Like, just go invest. Kids with 10k stubs can make a bunch of investments and flip double or triple the amount of stubs. I'm telling you, this is the best way, bro. Let's keep going. Jose Barreos, another guys. Jose Barreos is going to be a Cy Young this year. He's going to be a top five pitcher this year. You guys got to pick him up. He's going to go diamond. <clears throat> There's no way he doesn't go diamond this year. He already went up to an 81. He's pitching gems all over the place. Go pick him up right now. Please, just go pick him up. You're gonna you're gonna love me for telling me you pick him up. Go pick the man up. Let's keep going. Nelson Cruz, he could become a diamond, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Matt Carpenter is playing his eye. Okay, okay. One big, big, big card that you guys should pick up is right here, Mitch Hanniger. And I'm gonna tell you why. This guy did not get upgraded. 
And I'm really upset because every year, he's so underrated. He's literally a top player every freaking year, guys. If he's a top player every year, he's like top player like two years in a row now. Just go pick him up. He's doing amazing right now in real life. He just got this. He didn't get upgraded. He's like top 10 right now in overall rankings, bro. You got to pick him up. He deserves better. He's going to go up in overall. There's no way he doesn't. He's such an average hitter. He deserves to go up. See, already got some retires. Right now, another one. Wilson Contreras. Guys, go pick him up. He's going to go up in overall. Next roster update. And you guys can just make stubs off him right now. He's playing as he's playing amazing, bro. He's playing. He's one of the best catchers in the league right now. He has an arm. He is hitting. He's just he's doing everything. And guys, his inside is down right now. So I would pick him up, and make a bunch of stubs. Another one, Jose Alvarado. I would not pick up this card. He might go up an overall again, but a closer. Like even if he, okay, think about it. Craig Kimbrell's like three to two k. He's an eighty four. This guy's an eighty overall, and he's only he's already two k. There's no way he's gonna go up more, guys. Even though he throws heat, I like him at all. Elvis Andres, do you, do I think he's gonna be a diamond? Maybe the way he's playing, but one k, I would not pick him up. That's a new dude. I would pick up Juan Soto. There's only a matter of time before he starts heating up, and I'm actually gonna pick him up right now. Juan Soto is a great investment to make stubs, and he's super cheap right now. Let's say he goes a diamond, whatever, overall increase. That's interesting. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, huh. Let me think real quick. Another, okay, this is a very, very good pickup. Reese Hoskins. How did he not go gold, guys? This is like a complete diss. He's going to be gold in no time. And 600 coins, guys, I'm telling you right now, 600 coins for a potential gold. You can make 500 stubs off each card. If you pick up 30 of these cards and you make 500 stubs off each card when it becomes gold, it's a no-brainer. He went down like 300 coins. He's super cheap right now. You can even use him with that power. He's a great pitch hitter. Highly recommend. But some 79s are going to go up. Another one, Nick Markakis. Potentially going to go up. He's playing amazing. I would pick him up. Okay, I have another one. Marcus Simeon is doing amazing as well, if I could get to him. Marcus Simeon is another good pickup for next roster update. You got it, you guys. This is how you're gonna make a bunch of stubs. Even if like you guys got it already now, because everyone's so cheap for the market crash. This is the best way to make stubs for the next roster update, or even now, just to, even now in general, you can make a bunch of stubs. Gary Sanchez, you could get him right now and still make stubs. That's a pretty good price for him. 900 stubs. Wow, he could be a gold in no time. Uh, let's keep going. Well, where the hell is the Mr. Senior? Okay, Chris Davis, man. I'm going to pick up a couple of him. There's no way he's not gold soon. This guy, he's on something, bro. He just hit so many dingers. I'm going to pick up a couple of him. Uh, Where is Michael Conforto, Michael Gold? He's playing amazing, too. Where the hell is Marcus Simeon? Am I freaking out or something? I'm just going to type in his name because that's crazy. All right, Marcus Simeon, bro. He's so cheap. He's playing amazing. I'm going to pick up more. He might be a gold in no time, bro. Even if he's not a gold, he's definitely going to go up in overall. He's like top 15 in fantasy right now. It's crazy. You guys need to pick up these players. All the players I'm telling you to pick up, just pick it up. I'm telling you. You're going to make a bunch of stubs this way. Just believe me. Let's see. Okay, and I'm going to go over like, what, one or two bronzes. So, let's go over Vogelback. I always talk about this guy because he's playing amazing. Look how cheap he is, bro. I'm going to pick up as many as possible. He's playing amazing. I hired him six already, bro. And Pete Alonzo, bro. Pete freaking Alonzo. He's amazing. And I'm pretty sure his price went down. It did not. I have a bunch. I have four. He'll be up in no time. I'm actually going to place a buy now. Pete Alonzo is a legitimate. He's a legit power, bro. You guys really need to pick up this card. Guys, believe me. All these ways to make stubs are correct. You can add all my subs. All my supporters. They're just... They're just so good. All these market tips and stuff. Keep picking up wits, like I said. All these market tips are going to help you out towards the next update and even now. So might as well just listen to me because you're going to make stubs either way. Everyone's cheap. Everyone keeps rising. Like I said, Corey Seager was 1700 buyout yesterday. Now he's at 2800 If you picked up like 30 of them, you would have made so many stubs. And one of my subscribers actually picked up a lot. He picked up a million Corey Seager. He picked up like 50 Corey Seagers. He's going to make a bunch of stubs. But guys, if you're watching this, go drop a sub. And guys, that's all I got for you today. 
stay tuned for some more fire mlb content more investment videos more all that good stuff and guys peace hey, yo,